I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. What does that even mean? Does that mean like if you're five foot two and you've always dreamed of dunking the basketball, if you just believe hard enough, maybe say those words, I can do all things, I can do all things, that somehow you're magically gonna be able to dunk a basketball? Or, or maybe you're a college student, you've got some difficult board exams or final exams coming up and it's like, hey, I don't need to study too hard because I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. What in the world does it mean that I can do all things through Christ all things. Hey, I'm John Whitaker, and this is the five minute Bible study where we try to connect the Bible to life because we believe Bible teaching ought to be blue jeans theology. And if that sounds like it might be helpful to you, then go ahead and click that subscribe button right now. Turn on the, the bell icon, the notification, so that I, you get notified every time I upload a new video. All right, what does that really mean? I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. That's Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. And you know, one of the really important things is when we're studying a text of Scripture, we need to make sure we read it in context. It's historical context. It's literary context. We need to hear it in its original context before we try to bring it into our context. So Philippians. Philippians is a letter written from Paul to the Philippian church living in the town of Philippi, which is up in northern Greece. And Paul's in prison when he writes this. And the Philippian church has actually sent Paul uh, some money, an offering, because in the Roman legal system, Paul had to pay for his own room and board while he was under house arrest waiting for trial. And so they sent him some money to help support him. And at this point in the letter, in Philippians chapter 4, Paul is actually saying, thank you for your gift. Thank you for the money you sent. That's really important because that's the context. Let me read you exactly what Paul says. Paul writes, I rejoiced in the Lord greatly that now at last you have revived your concern for me. You indeed were concerned before, but you just had no opportunity to show it. Not that I'm speaking of want or being in need. Catch this, for I have learned the secret of being content in whatever circumstance I'm in. I know how to be brought low and I know how to abound. In any and every circumstance, uh, I have learned the secret of facing plenty and hunger, abundance and need. And then he says those words, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Do you catch what he's saying? He's saying that, man, my following of Jesus, my serving of Jesus has led me into a variety of circumstances. Somewhere I had more than enough where I was well taken care of. Somewhere, man, I was just suffering and I was in need. And I have learned the secret of being content. This text, isn't a text that says you're going to win the Super Bowl. It's not a text that says you're going to dunk the basketball. It's not a text that says you're going to get great grades. It says that whatever your circumstances, whether it's hard, whether it's easy, whatever your circumstances, whether you have uh, hardly anything or whether you have more than enough, whatever your circumstances, um, Paul is saying, I have learned the secret of being content. This is a text about being content. This is a text about dealing with whatever circumstances you're in. And so the real message of Philippians 4.13 isn't that you can do whatever you want, whatever you dream of, whatever you hope for, because Jesus is gonna help that happen. What the message of Philippians 4.13 is, is that if you're following Jesus and, and faithful to him, man, sometimes life is gonna go well, sometimes it's not gonna go so well. And when that happens, uh, there, there is a secret to being content. And that secret is, depending on Jesus, relying on Jesus. And Paul says, man, I've learned that secret. I've learned how, whether I have a lot, whether I don't hardly have anything, I've learned actually how to depend on Jesus. And Jesus gives me the strength to deal with whatever circumstances I'm in. And may that be true of me, may that be true of you. In fact, really this new online ministry I'm pursuing and reflecting on Philippians 4.13, it's very apropos for me. I honestly don't know, um, you know, sometimes where the next paycheck is coming from. I'm dependent on God's provision through people like you, through uh, selling some online courses or a variety of things like that. And it's just getting started and I really have no idea. And so right now my wife and I are one of those circumstances where we hardly have anything. And we're going to have to depend on Jesus. And this text says, John, in the midst of that, by trying to be faithful to me, you can do all things. You can be content in this circumstance because I will give you the strength. And the same is true for you. So whatever you're going through and wherever you're at, don't turn this verse into a magic kind of 
formula where if I just say those words and believe it hard enough, I'll be able to do whatever I want. Turn these words into exactly what they were intended. An encouragement that Jesus is with you, that he will empower you and strengthen you, and that, that you can learn to depend on him and be content in whatever circumstances you're in. May God bless you as you do just that. Hey, thanks for checking out the 5-Minute Bible Study. If you're new here and haven't already, go ahead and click subscribe right now so you never miss a video when I upload a new one. I try to upload new videos every single Thursday. I'll put some other videos up on the screen that you can check out as well. God bless you guys, and I will see you in the next video.